Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha and in today's video I will be doing paycheck number two or is it one? I believe, oh, it's only the seven. So this is paycheck number one for November. We are cash stuffing $250 into my savings um as well as saving challenges i will not be stuffing my thank bills. you thank you thank you to everyone that has joined my channel um whether you guys are writing it below or letting me know that you're coming to my channel i really appreciate it um definitely let me know down below if you are new and have a channel let me know so i can definitely check you guys know out if you guys have a channel i would love to check it out and um yeah so let's get into it. Oh, I also have my dice over here. You guys might hear my daughter or my cat. This is zoomy times for him. So there's that. Okay, so let's start um, counting the money. So I am short a dollar and that's for electronics. I did not go to the bank today. I just went to the ATM and the money I have is actually from condensing my actual binders. <laughs> So let's see if everything works okay. It might be a part two to this if I'm not able to like, if I'm missing something or don't have change. But for right now, I do know that I have 250 here that I was able to make change for, but I should have 251 and that dollar is going to go to TV. So let's start counting. That's 100. That's 200. Thirty-five. So two thirty-five. Thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. Forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty. So 250. I have my little cheat sheet over here, and I'm going to start with my actually I'm gonna start with my savings challenge so if you guys seen my um unstuffing of this the way that i'm doing this challenge is i'm rolling three dice the max that it can be is 36 dollars that will 18 but i allow um i gave myself 36 dollars so that i can at least fill in two envelopes if i get three sixes but we will see so hope oh i didn't get a marker that's fine okay so we are on day we are on slot 17 so i'm gonna roll the three dice and whatever it lands on that's what i will be putting in this category so you guys can see that i'm just gonna roll two for right now and that is three four Ooh. hold on let me roll that again and then, so that's $8. So $8 is going to be going in here. Five, six, seven, eight. Hopefully I'm doing this correctly. I probably should have put this money to the side, honestly. All right. So that's eight. Let's roll again. Let me just do two. So that's not on camera, but that's two. And then this is two as well. I have one more and that is two. So that's two, four, six. So that is five and a six. So the first one was eight and then the next one is six. So we can definitely roll again since we're getting these super small numbers. And like I said, I only allowed it for, um, what did I say? $36. Oh, can you guys see that? Okay, so five, six, seven, eight, nine. So five. Actually, you know what? I don't want to use all of these ones, so I'm just going to round it to a 10. Doesn't matter. Giving give myself more. So that is eight, uh, 10, 18, 
19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So 24, I can definitely roll again. And that is 11. So 10, 11. All right. All right, you guys, so if my calculations are correct, I did 35 in all of these and I allotted myself for 36. So I'm just gonna throw in a dollar in this one just so that I don't short myself and make sure that all of them are correct. Hey, I'm just gonna put it on 21, that's fine. I won't color in 21, but 21 has an additional, an extra start, a head start, but I don't wanna short myself if that makes sense. So once um, I get paid again, or whenever I fill this again, I still will be starting with 21. It just has a dollar extra. But for today, I'm gonna color in 17 through 20. And that told it up to, I believe, 35. Hey, we'll see. So, I, and I ran to get some of my cheap old markers. So that is done. So now I'm going to move on to savings. And like I said, I'm just looking at my cheat sheet. So going into savings, we're just gonna go in order and we are giving personal 45. So 20, 40, five. So now we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 70. So 170, I'm gonna do all the trackers off camera and that is really helpful for me to be doing the trackers I've been noticing. So I definitely wanna make sure I do that. Next is birth, oh wait, next is family and that is getting 10. Emergency is getting 10. And I really like this one because it has a tracker, um, like a challenge. Oh, did I not count these? Okay, my bad. So family has 20 and emergency now has 20, 30, 40, 20, 30, and 40. All right, next is birthday, and birthday is getting 10. I hope I'm doing right with my whole change thing. I think I am so far. Okay, so now birthday has 20, 40, 55. Right, yep, because it had 45 and I put in 10. Next is Christmas and Christmas is getting 30. Christmas is one that I'm going to stop funding starting. I believe my last time stuffing this will be the first paycheck of December. I have um, challenge challenges for Christmas as well as I already um, finished some challenges in October and already spent a little over 200. So I'm really happy that um, I'm already like a little bit ahead on Christmas with shopping wise and decor. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 50, 65. So 165 for Christmas. All right, so now we're going into my non-priority savings and Home decor is going to get 10. So now it has 20, 40, 50, five in decor. And then I have, what else do I have? I have electronics, which I said is going to be missing a dollar. 
So let me just put a note here. When I do actually get change, oopsies, why did I write that like that? That I owe one dollar. Just gonna put that on here. I stay in these binders, so yeah, there's that. But that will be at five dollars once I add that in. And then we have self-care. So with self-care, I made a video about how I, you can even look at the tracker, how I took $50 out for saving challenges. And then I was like, and then it left 25 in there. But I was like, you know what? Let me just take the full 75 out, put it towards saving challenges and just start from the beginning. So I am putting $10 in today. So starting self-care over, which was basically my nails. And I'm going to be putting $10 in there. And then next I have travel, which is getting 14. So let me see how many fives I have. I don't have that many. So I'm still going to be using the tens. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So now travel has... Travel has... Let me see. So 10, 20, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So $29 in travel. And then lastly, shopping is actually getting a dollar. So now shopping has $6 in total. And you probably see my daughter in the background might not hear her but you will probably see the hand all right so that is it for this all right you guys so i went in and broke up those 20s a little bit and then i brought in my savings challenge binder so we're going to start at the back and this is my these are my short-term saving challenges i'm going to start with these or does it even matter? Because I already wrote it down, but I'm hoping that I have the right change. That's the biggest thing. So um, let me see here. Let me make sure you guys can see. Should have been doing that the whole time. So this one I have not started yet. This is the 1000 um, challenge. This is the 26 weeks. And this has, um, I'm just going in order with these just because, like I said, I usually plan out what I'm going to put in. I'm, so I'm, for these, I'm going in order. So I'm doing $8. And I hope I'm not shaking too much, but five, five, six, seven, eight. So in total, we have uh, we have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, which is great. Yep, 20 in total. And like I said before, and if you guys are new, this is actually for 2025. I'm just basically getting a head start. So I don't add too much to these, but I'm also going in order but I don't try to do like two or three circles at a time. These are for 2025. I just happened to give myself a two month start. Um, I, I basically started at the end of October. So that is a great start. And then we have 52 week challenge and we are putting $6 in here. And this is another one that I'm giving myself six months to finish, but I am also getting a head start. So right now I have 15 and I will be adding $6, which is another great start. So by the time, which is literally two months um, for 2025 to hit, I will have a few of these already done. So 10, 21 is in the 52 week. And if you guys do not cash stuff or thinking about cash stuffing, um, it definitely is a lot, um, especially with getting change, knowing what the budget is, trying to do saving challenges. However, in the end, 
or even in the beginning or during the process, it's just so rewarding to see these bubbles filled out. Um, that's one of the main things I'm loving so far because I am new to cash stuffing. Like to see all of these circled in, it's just like, oh my God, I'm almost at 30. So it's just a great feeling. This one, now we're going into my short term and these will be done. I give myself three months for these. So um, starting in October, so I would like to be done honestly this month. I'm really prioritizing these, but I do have the three months for myself. So going into, uh, going into October, going into my dollar challenge and I am adding $1 in. So now this should be at $20. So let's just add this up. And this is 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And these ones are raggedy, my goodness. I try to put them in my bills binder because I know that's gonna be going back to the bank, but my God, I might need to get some new ones or something. I'm trying to watch you guys in the camera, but also not shake too much. All right, so that one is done. $10 until that's done. This one is getting $4. And this is my $2 challenge. So this will total up to $50 at the end. So we are putting $4 in here. Let me see. So I'm going to put a dollar back and then take a five, look at me. <laughs> so now we should have, we should have 40 in here. So 20, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42. Hmm, that is correct, two, four, six, eight. I just thought I was leaving myself $10 for this, but I mean, the more the better. So I only need $8 for this one to finish. And then for this one, I need $10. So naturally these two challenges will be done by next week which is the second full week of november which is great because this challenge for the 50 dollars actually goes to christmas all right so next is what is this 15 dollars. so this is my five dollar challenge and this totals out to 150 and I guess I'm giving it ones. So one, two, three, four, five, and then 10 for a total of 15. So that is three of these. So that should be 65. Now this challenge and my bonus, you guys remember, I was missing the two. So what I did was, um, that's when I allotted out the whole 25, the whole 75 out of self-care, I ended up adding um, some extra money in here so that I can get to where I was actually trying to get to. So that worked out for me. And I ended up giving my 300 challenge more than I was supposed to, and I shorted the $5. So that's what happened there. So this, is, this should be 65, so 20, 40, and 50. And 60, one, two, three, four, five. So that is great. Moving right along with this one. Almost halfway done, which is great. All right, and then the last one is my $10 challenge. And this one is getting $30. This one looks like this and it's up to 300. So this is getting one, two, then three. So for a total of, it should be 120, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 120. So that is great because this is actually split up and it's going, oop, can, all right, hold on Keisha. All right, this is actually going to Christmas as well. So that's another 100 going into Christmas. And I'll probably um, unstuff this 
even if I'm not done, but the second, the first week of December, just so that, um, or the, the last week in November, that's when I really want to get like Christmas shopping done 100%. I got to see what the step, the sales are looking like. Oh, oh my goodness. I'd even color this in. Let me color this in. I'm busy talking and didn't even color this in. So we did what? Sorry for the shaking. If I am shaking, but one, two and three. So that's that. Last thing is my piggy bank. And I actually budgeted some money out for this this week. So my piggy bank just gets whatever I have left over. Um, it's usually a few bucks, but today I budgeted for $10. So I am really happy about that. Like I cannot wait to bust this open. The end of next year, I started this in October um, of this year. So last month I started this over and um, I'm just super excited. Or maybe, you know, when it gets full, it's nowhere near full right now. But once this gets full, probably late 2025, I will be opening this with you guys. So I'm super excited to do that. Um, and I believe I, I did put a number for my piggy bank. I, I think it's like 15 or $20 a week for the piggy bank alone. So can't wait for that. But that is the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed this, definitely let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching guys. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.